In loving memory of YouTube content creator, Terry Swoop. Terry Swoop started his YouTube channel on July 29, 2010. He has produced over 485 videos of content that consisted of him giving recognition to celebs who are known as being underrated and underappreciated. He demonstrated advocacy through his videos that covered topics on social and political issues. He also had videos that consisted of him valuing the beauty of all women, which included top 10 lists. The hard work and dedication that he put into his videos led to him attracting over 500,000 subscribers. His impact. I have been a subscriber of Terry Swoop since 2018. I enjoyed listening to his viewpoints on topics dealing with social issues in the black community. His videos would leave me feeling uplifted. I love that he was an independent thinker who did not fall for the popular opinions of others. He was the kind of person who was not afraid to speak his mind. He was also open to hearing other people's opinions in the comments. And even if someone disagreed with him, he still showed respect and appreciation for their feedback. Seven months ago, I requested a video on an underrated singer from the 80s named Curtis Harrison. Terry Swoop replied to my comment to inform me that he is in the process of working on the video and he would have it posted the next day. The next day came and the video was posted. I had the biggest smile on my face and was very excited and could not wait to get home to watch the video. Terry Swoop made my day and I thanked him for it. He replied back saying, thanks for the suggestion. Curtis was a great talent. I always appreciate your feedback. When he said that he always appreciates my feedback, it made me feel really good. Hearing that statement from my favorite YouTuber meant a lot. It really meant a lot. Terry's replies and hearts that he gives in the comments makes his followers feel included. We feel like family because he made us feel like family. So, when I heard the disheartening news of his passing, it really felt like I lost a family member. It was like a bad dream. And I kept telling myself, this cannot be real. I need to wake up. And when I wake up, 
he'll be alive and back to posting again. But unfortunately, it was not a dream. It was real. Terry Swoop is really gone. Terry was so full of life and energy. It's hard to imagine you two without him. He was the best thing that ever happened to YouTube. Although his videos will forever remain, YouTube would never be the same without him. I send all of my condolences and prayers to the family and friends of Terry Swoop. May he rest in peace, power, and love. It's rare to see positive songs become hit songs. Most of the songs that go to number one on the charts are usually vulgar songs that have no meaning to them. But, so it was nice to see a positive song with a great message to it become a hit song. And all of her songs were like this. All of her songs had positive messages. Years, he hasn't been remembered the same way a lot of great musicians in history have been remembered. He's not remembered in the same way that James Brown was remembered. He's not remembered in the same way that Marvin Gaye was remembered. He's not remembered in the same way that Michael Jackson was remembered. His career has gone under the radar, even though he's one of the greatest musicians of all time. He paved the way for a lot of rock and roll singers and R&B singers in history. And he's not in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. When a lot of these other musicians like James Brown, like Michael Jackson, are in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, I just think he should be honored more and he should be remembered more based on his contributions to the history of music remember their music as fun and they made music that brought people together they made music that made people have a good time and i don't think they get the credit that they deserve as writers and producers they had a long successful career when it comes to writing and producing for other artists and i think they should be in the songwriters hall of fame because they wrote a lot of great songs i don't got time in this video to go over all the songs that they wrote for other artists, but they had a lot of success as songwriters. And I don't think songwriters get the credit that they deserve in music. Because when people listen to music, they only listen to the people singing the songs and they don't realize there's a lot of great songwriters behind a lot of these great songs. An all white school, he grew up in an all white family and he never understood why his hair was kinky. Why wasn't his hair like everybody else's? And just like most kids who are different, he was teased and made fun of. He experienced a lot of racism growing up in Ireland. But the people of Ireland grew to love him as he became a rock star. He put Ireland on the map. Thin Lizzy was the first rock band from Ireland to have mainstream international success. And being the performer that he was, it's kind of hard to have a career and perform on stage every night suffering from type 1 diabetes and this caused him to have kidney problems and this is one of the things that made him stop performing and stop recording music on January 18th 1996 Curtis passed away he died of kidney failure at the age of 34 he was only 34 years old and he was just preparing to record another album and get back into the music industry he was feeling good, but eventually his illnesses caught up with him and he passed away. I was always a huge fan of his music. I thought this man was very talented. I think he's one of the most underrated R&B singers in history. And I don't think he gets enough credit that he deserves. And I was glad to see him bringing humor to rap music. I think that was needed back then. 
I think Shaq G is underrated because he had his own style. Nobody did it the way he did it. I think he should get more acclaim. He should get more aberration than what he gets. So I think we need to wake up as black Americans and stop killing each other and start valuing all black lives. Not just the black lives that are killed by the police. We need to start valuing all black lives. So a lot of these younger pro-blacks, they need to understand the difference between cultural appropriation and cultural appreciation. Cultural appreciation is paying tribute to that music. It's celebrating another culture's music. And there's nothing wrong with a person of a differing race celebrating black music. So I just want to encourage people to be independent thinkers. Stop being afraid to speak against cancel culture. Stop being afraid to speak against the woke Twitter mob. Hatred needs to stop. We need to come together as a people, as a human race, a people, and be united as one and stop the hatred and stop the violence nationwide, whether it's in Africa, China, Europe, whatever. We need to stop the madness and come together as a people. I will be reciting a poem called The Dash by Linda Ellis. I read of a man who stood to speak at the funeral of a friend. He referred to the dates on the tombstone from the beginning to the end. He noted that first came the date of birth and spoke the following date with tears. But he said what mattered most of all was the dash between those years. For that dash represents all the time that they spent alive on earth. And now only those who love them know what that little line is worth. For it matters not how much we own, the cars, the house, the cash. What matters is how we live and love and how we spend our dash. So think about this long and hard. Are there things you'd like to change? For you never know how much time is left that can still be rearranged. If we could just slow down enough to consider what's true and real and always try to understand the way other people feel and be less quick to anger and show appreciation more and love the people in our lives like we've never loved before. If we treat each other with respect and more often wear a smile, remembering this special dash might only last a little while. So when your eulogy is being read with your life's actions to rehash, would you be proud of the things they say about how you spent your dash?